Doug McKnight here at Hatchfinders Fly Shop in Livingston, Montana. I'm going to tie for you guys uh, the Sweetgrass Salmon Fly Dry, um, kind of a big foam bug uh, that I came up with uh, a few years ago. I'm going to start with a size 4. You could also use a size 6 for this pattern, uh, 2x long nymph hook. Um, and we're going to use some fluorescent orange uh, thread, some UTC 140. I'm just going to start and give the whole shank a coat of thread all the way back to the barb. And then I'm going to move my thread up to just about halfway up the shank, right about there. And for making the big foam body, what, what I've done ahead of time is just taken just some regular black foam and some regular dark brown foam and just kind of sandwiched them together with some Zappa Gap, um, just like that. And then what I'm going to do next is maybe cut about a quarter inch slice of foam, just like that. Um, I might trim a little bit of that off. So you're maybe left with uh, maybe an inch and a half, inch and three quarters length. And then what I'm going to do is take the scissors and kind of cut a little bit of an angle, a little slice, a little angled slice on one side. and then the other. And what that's going to do is make a taper. So just a shape like that is perfect. Now I'm going to install this, bot, this foam body onto the shank. And what you want to do is have where it's folded over here, this is the front of the body, and you want maybe uh, about a quarter inch over, over top of the, the eye sticking out. And then I'm going to just start lashing that down, a couple wraps of thread, like that. And then over the top, I'm going to cross over maybe an eighth of an inch or so and create a segment. And I'm going to do it again. Now, once you get one or two uh, wraps on there, you're going to be going off the shank of the hook. So just move down another eighth of an inch and just keep working your way down just like this all the way down to the very end. Do one more there. And then once you get to the end there, just cross it over and work back the same way you came. So there'll be little X's on top and on the bottom there'll be just nice orange segments. All right. Now see on the other side here I missed with a couple of wraps of my thread so I'm just going to take my fingernail and just kind of pull those guys together. Next, I'm going to take some Zappa Gap and just the, where the foam body meets the shank of the hook, just put a little bit of Zappa Gap on there. And then at that point, make sure that this is not tilted one way or the other. Make sure it's pretty perpendicular. Next, I'm going to take a pair of uh, black goose biots and just trim off two of them. Now when I made this foam body, I didn't glue it all the way back here and I did that for a reason. Because what we're going to do is take a little bit of Zappa Gap, put a little drop in between uh, those pieces of foam. And we're going to stick those goose biots in there. And we'll have our little stonefly tail. And once you kind of get them in their position, 
just give it a squeeze and hold it there for maybe 10 seconds or so. And they're pretty much in there permanently. Next step is to take some black Swiss straw. And this is going to be our wing. Just going to take maybe an inch and a half long piece of it. And just kind of round one end or make it come to a point. And we're going to have that extending past the abdomen maybe a quarter inch or so. Just like that trim off the excess. Then I'm going to take some uh, some black flexi floss. And these are I'm going to tie in a, a pair of legs on the next two segments. So maybe about an inch long. One goes on one side. And one on the other. Then I'm going to just pull that foam body up and move my thread up to just about the eye of the hook. I'm going to lash that down one more time, kind of separating the thorax from the head. Next, I'm going to take just some dark gray, um, you know, Antron yarn or poly wing material. And cut it maybe about, oh, four, four and a half inches long. And I'm going to wrap that around the thread and tie that in right on top. Um, I also, at this point, like to take a little drop of Zappa Gap in there. And a couple more wraps on there. I'm going to push the head up a little bit. And then trim, if you need to, uh, trim back to the wing length. You got a nice, fluffy Antron wing that accepts floating real well and super, super easy to see, even in real fast water. And I'm going to take two more black legs. It's going to get another set of legs up front here. And we're pretty much done. Just go and give that a whip finish. I'll trim some legs here to where they're even. And then we're going to flip it over and do another little round of zap a gap anywhere you see that fluorescent orange thread, especially here by these legs. If you don't glue them in, they're pretty easy to pull out. And there we have uh, the sweet grass foam salmon fly. Um, with all that foam in there, it really floats well. and big rough water, uh, early season water when these salmon flies are hatching. And uh, tie a couple for your box for your next time uh, fishing for salmon flies.